So these are the i500 wireless headphones. MGET actually got in contact with me and offered to send them over for review. And when I saw that they somehow managed to bring up the pop-up connection functionality, I just knew I had to take a look at these. So, is this a pair of $50 AirPod killers? Or is it just another lazy clone? Let's find out. Quickly before we do though, MGET did send these over to me for review, but this review is 100% my own. They haven't paid me to say anything. So yeah, let's take a look at what's in the box. First of all, let's take a look at what's in the box. Now we have the i500s in the charging case, a charging cable and a manual. They are pretty well protected and the unboxing experience wasn't cluttered, which is always nice. Following this, we have the appearance and these are pretty much identical to the official second generation AirPods. Everything from the shape to the way the lid clicks down to the matte gray connection joint at the back is pretty much identical. Something I will say though, is that the LED isn't actually diffused like on the official AirPods. But other than that, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. They come in either white or black, I got the white model, but the black ones look identical in terms of shape, and the only real difference I can see is in the colour. In terms of build quality, they're not that bad. They are mostly made of plastic, but then again, so are the actual AirPods. And my only real complaint in this department is the hinge on the back. It got scratched kind of easily, which is never a good thing on such a slick product, but everything else from the click of the lid to the actual earphones themselves feel great. Next, we have connection, and for this pair of earphones, this is perhaps one of the most important areas, purely due to how well the original AirPods did in this department. And they're actually pretty decent. The pop-up connection function that's supported on iOS 10 and above works oddly well, even displaying the classic not your AirPods when the lid's opened on a non-paired set. Once they're paired, all you have to do to connect and disconnect them is take them in and out the case, and this happens pretty much instantly. This function also works great on my iMac, in fact I'd actually say it's better because on my iMac it renames them to Will's AirPods, whereas on the phone it's just the static AirPods, and unfortunately that can't be changed. The i500s do have sensors in them, so once you put them in your ears it will register as on, you'll hear a chime, and then you can start listening. If you need to stop listening at any point in time, simply take one out of your ear and it will actually pause your music, which works again, oddly well. I haven't really had that many issues with it disconnecting by mistake, so overall, connection is solid. But how's the range on these things? Well, I left my phone at my desk and they only disconnected when I went out into my garden, so as long as you don't plan to like leave your phone at home while you go out for a run, should be fine. Unless you run like, I don't know, no. Following on, we have another nice feature, which is actually the tap two actions. Down to the right earphone, it's a double tap to play and pause, and a triple tap to go forward. On the left earphone, a double tap will bring up Siri, and a triple tap will go back. And I gotta say, these all work pretty damn well. The i500s also feature Qi charging, which is awesome. So if you have a wireless charging mat, you can wirelessly charge these. In fact, I'm still looking for one of those, so I can charge my phone and my AirPods at the same time. That would, of course, be for the desk set up. Clue for the next video. Seriously, you should watch that video. I have no idea when it's going to be out. In terms of battery life, they are really good. You can expect around four hours of continuous playback and once they run out, pop them back into the case for 45 minutes and just like that, you got another four hours. This can be pretty great for things like long haul flights because realistically, you really shouldn't be using earphones for more than four hours solid. I mean, headphones are probably okay, but these, they're just so direct. You don't want to be exposing your ears to that amount of direct sound for that length of time. So, the 45 minute charging break also acts as a nice charging break for your ears. Charging break for your ears. What? Where did that come from? Moving on, we have perhaps one of the most important aspects of any headphones, sound quality. We all know at this point how the sound quality on the AirPods was actually pretty decent, and I'm pleased to say that it's the same with the i500s. The bass they've managed to get into these earphones is actually quite impressive, and is great for stuff like hip-hop. If you prefer stuff in the mid-range, these aren't all that great, they're not particularly clear, I mean, I wouldn't listen to a range or Suffian Stevens on these, that would just be, that'd be funny actually. I'm gonna try that now actually. But I wouldn't expect the mids to be that great, especially for the size, and the highs are actually pretty nice and sharp, so overall, pretty pleased with the sound quality here. Now, we're moving on to my number one problem with this product, and it is a big one. So big, I need some water. With these earphones, there is something that definitely needs addressing, simply put, the way they've chosen to brand these headphones. The design by Apple in California and the AirPods 2 serial number are downright misleading, in my opinion. And while the, well, technically these were designed by Apple in California, argument could be made, and it has, by many of my tech contemporaries, but honestly, it's not. And the reason I'm bringing all of this up is because stuff like this can make small scale counterfeiting an issue. So why am I reviewing this product then? If we look at them for what they are, which is a great value pair of wireless Bluetooth earphones, they're very good. If you're watching and you bought a pair of real AirPods from somewhere like Facebook or eBay, check for the diffuser over the LED. And I also suggest checking that you can rename them. All right, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if 
you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.